this is a user interface uh, home page. What we're about to do is log into the system. A window pops up for either administrative or uh, user name. Um, then you'd enter your password. At this point, we don't have anything set up, so we're going to go ahead and log into the system. We're going to go to new certification. We're going to get our Tong seal number added in. We'll just do one, two, three. Press OK. Power unit seal number. One, two, three. Manual size. We're going to be running five and a half today, so we'll just push five and a half. Setup notes optional. We're not going to add anything today. And go ahead and verify. All right, our preliminary setup is platform cleared. Check that bullet. Clear any slip trips and fall hazards. Is platform in good working order? You go through those steps. Verify that it all is done. Press yes. Visual inspection and hoist test. Roll the trolley front to back from stop to stop on the jib beam. Check for any signs of abnormal strain or resistance. Run the hoist all the way up until the limit switch is properly engaged and then run it all the way down until the hook touches the working surface. Inspect the lifting chain and swivel hook for signs of stress. Ensure that the housing on the hand controls are in good working condition and the emergency stop is functional. We certified that, we'll check yes. Hoist tong. Connect the hoist to the D-ring and raise the assembly to the proper working height. Push the tongs onto the test mandrel and close the tong doors. Secure the tongs to the crane mast with properly rated snub line and clevises. Make sure that all clevises pins are secure and hitch pins or cotter pins are in place. We certify that, so we check yes. Power unit pressure hose to test stand connection. Ensure that the hydraulic pressure line between the power unit and the test stand is in good working order. Verify that the connection on each end is tight and threaded all the way onto the fitting. Ensure that the hydraulic pressure line between the test stand and the power tong is in good working order. Verify that the connection on each end is tight and threaded all the way onto the fitting. Test stand to power tong return hose connection. Ensure that the hydraulic line between the test stand and the power tong is in good working order. Verify that connection in each end is tightened and threaded all the way onto the fitting. Air supply connection. Is the air supply connected and the PSI level set to manufacturer specifications? Yes. Air supply 150 PSI minimum. Air supply is currently 150 PSI minimum. Question, yes. Systems engaged. Next step is going to start test. Gauges that we got uh, on your user interface, temperature, flow, pressure, return. Um, your graph, top graph is your torque. Bottom graph is speed, your RPM. As soon as you start collecting data, you'll start getting your kicks across the way. Upon startup of uh, function test of your tongs, we're going to ease into the uh, test stand. We're not going to jar the unit around. We're not going to deadhead it to where the, the tongs take all the slack out of the snub line. And just don't abuse the, the equipment. Be aware of your surroundings and others when operating this tool. At this point, we're going to start a function test in a breakout. I moved my pin from uh, make to break. We're now backing it up. We'll run it in high gear. A couple revolutions. Drop it in the low gear. At this point, we're going to get ready to start simulating torque. Man on your control panel, supplying air to the brakes. Torque is increasing. Twelve thousand foot pounds. Ease into your, your lever, deadhead. Um, 
until you reach your achieved torque that your make break pin back to make. Uh, what you're seeing right there is uh, your jaws aren't quite opened up all the way, so we put it back on to the mandrel, kind of give your, uh, your make break handle, give it a pull or two until your jaws are opened up all the way, just ease your uh, tongs off. Once uh, your test is complete, uh, go ahead and disconnect your snub line in order for you to uh, lower your tongs onto your, to your work surface. But uh, at that point, you know, all hydraulics and, uh, should be uh, shut down. Uh, nothing should be energized, so uh, you're, you're good for disconnect on your snub line. And after that, you're good. We'll end test. They'll, uh, they've got guidelines. Uh, if, they, if they hit the specific torque that they're after, let's say it's 30,000 foot-pounds, and they hit it, they'll go ahead and pass it. Close. System just shut down. If you've got a, a location in Oklahoma and your home office is in Houston, your man in Houston can watch everything from his computer. Export data. From here, you would choose uh, where you want to send this information. You could store it into the computer, or you can transfer it over here to your flash drive for your USB and uh, take it into the office and have a printable version or uh, however you want to do it. And at that point, you're done. Log out, you're back to your... Okay, what we're gonna do is walk you through the user interface of uh, our Tong test stand. This is the control panel. It's a dual iDeck uh, system. We've got two touch screens. Uh, first one, you're going to log into the system. Today, we're just going to go under my admin. Let's... Let's enter, log in. Going to go to home. Some of the features that we got. Uh, on your initial startup screen is a demonstration video. Okay. This is basically uh, video to, to show you how to uh, run the user interface, uh, things of that nature. Kind of gives a quick video of another uh, test stand that we've built. Uh, this one is uh, a 30,000 foot-pound unit that we're going to be demonstrating on, but the user interface uh, as far as the control panel is the same. And what it does is basically going to show you what I'm going to be showing you. Um, physically here, but this is just a video that's already preloaded on the computer itself. So just to kind of show you that, we're gonna, we're gonna exit out of that. We're gonna go to home. What we're gonna do is go to new user or new cert. We're gonna put in a Tonk serial number, two, three, four. Let's enter. This is gonna go to power unit serial number. Center. This is going to give you your uh, analog torque gauge seal number. And this is going to be your load cell seal number. Then the uh, drop down window. Uh, depending on what mandrel sizes you purchase, uh, we'll go ahead and populate that field with the, uh, whatever you want in your inventory. So this particular customer uh, asked for 3 inch through 20 inch. We'll just go 5.5 or 
three and a half rather. Setup notes are optional. That just gives you the uh, chance to, to make any notes. Uh, if you put a new rain gear in your tongs and you want to do a function test on that, you can just make that note. Uh, next step is going to be torque versus turn or torque, torque and speed versus time. I'm just going to do torque versus turn. Uh, the control functions on that, uh, you can run a test in a 60 second duration ramp or a 90 second duration ramp. We'll just go 90 second. Target torque that we want to achieve is going to be 30,000 foot pounds. Hit enter. We're going to verify that all fields are populated. Now we're going to go to the uh, verification and uh, set up permissive. Uh, preliminary setup, one, platform cleared. Clear any slip, trip, and fall hazards. Is platform in good working order? Yes. Visual inspection and hoist test. Roll the trolley front to back from stop to stop on the jib beam. Check for any signs of abnormal stress or resistance. Uh, run the hoist all the way up until the limit switch is properly engaged and then run the run it all the way down until the hook touches the work working surface. Inspect the lifting chain and swivel hook for signs of stress. Ensure that all housing on the hand control are in good working order in good working condition and emergency stop is functional. That's okay. And the hoist test. Connect the hoist of the D ring to the tongs D ring and raise the assembly to the proper working height. Push the tongs onto the test manual and close the tong doors. Secure the tongs with the grain mass with properly rated snub line and clevises. Make sure that all clevis pins are are secure and hitch pins or cotter pins are in place. That's okay. Number two, hydraulics. Power unit pressure hose to test in connection. Ensure that the hydraulic pressure line between the power unit and the test stand is in good working order and verify that the connection on each end is tight and threaded, away, threaded all the way onto the fitting. It's okay. Power unit return hose to test stand connection. Basically it's going to be the same thing. Ensure that the hydraulic line return line between the power unit and the test stand is in good working order. Verify that the connection on each end is tight and threaded all the way onto the fitting. So on and so forth. Uh, all you're going to do is repeat these last two steps. It's the same as the first two steps. This one you're just checking between the test stand and the power unit. Go ahead and just click those. That's okay. Basically you're verifying that all your connections are made up between the test stand and the power unit and the, from the test stand to the tongue. Air supply connection. Is the air supply connected and PSI level set to manufacturer specifications? Yes. Typically we run between 100 to 150 PSI. Air supply is currently 150 PSI minimum. Yes. I'm going to do now all that safety. Uh, Questions have been answered. We're going to start test. On this particular screen, you've got all your gauges. In this setup, we got temperature, flow, supply, and return. We do have the, avail the ability to measure viscosity and have a particulate counter. Uh, those two, uh, the viscosity and particulate counters, grayed out because this particular customer did not purchase into those options. Uh, second screen. Is your test screen, your graphs, your top graph is going to be torque. Right now we don't got a load applied, so it's reading zero, and we're not turning, so obviously we got zero RPM. Your auto mode, what it's going to do is we're going to hit that. And right here, as you can see, it's sending air pressure in one pound increments to your brake calipers. So that's going to simulate the makeup of a joint. Here's your counter. Uh, remember, we uh, in the setup we set it up for a 90 second duration. 
So once it achieves its target torque, which was 30,000 foot-pounds, it's automatically going to send a signal back to the proportional uh, air regulator, dump all air pressure and hydraulics. At that point, you'll have a uh, window pop up. It'll say uh, test has been complete, and you have the option to pass or fail that. Right now, we're going to go ahead and change, go into auto mode. We're going to zero out everything. Excuse me. We're going to close. We're going to end auto mode. Go to change. Zero out air pressure. We can send a signal to that proportional air regulator in a tenth of a pound increments so we can get closer to our torque without over torquing. We can do it in one pound increments or we can do it in 10 pound increments. You also have the option to delete as needed. Right there, we're going to go ahead and end test. Um, since we're not really running a function test right now, we're going to go ahead and fail that. Sorry. Close, then it takes you back to your home screen. Other features on this NEMA 4X panel is your emergency stop and toggle switch with a lockout tag out uh, capabilities. On the side, you've got a USB port. You got a uh, Cat3 cable connection. USB port to transfer files. Uh, there's another Cat5. Uh, this one right here is for earphones. Uh, so you can watch your demonstration video. And we also on this side have uh, capabilities to uh, connect to your network. Uh, so you connect through Wi-Fi, you can transfer data from the test stand to a computer inside an office or uh, to another location across the globe. But uh, again, that is the NEMA 4X control panel, uh, dual iDeck uh, touch screens. Again, I'm Daryl Barrier with A Better Fabrication. Uh, appreciate your interest in uh, what we got going on. Thank you.